He was here earlier, JBL. Ivy Nile now trying to will. Oh, and Indy Hartwell sending Nile. What up, y'all? This your boy Ace here, and welcome to Afternoon's Delight. Let's get to this one, y'all, man. Um, man, oh man, oh man. This is very interesting, very interesting stuff here, bro. Um, very interesting, bro. So, shall we get into this? Candace LeRae versus Maxine Dupree. And uh, obviously, Candace was with Indy Hartwell, and then Maxine Dupree was with Ivy. Now, let's go over how this match went. So, Dupree performed an early fisherman suplex and then uh, kipped up. By the way, forgot to say, Maxine Dupree, we had a little encounter between her and Chad Gable and the rest of Alpha Academy. I went over that video a little early if I want to get my thoughts on that. Now, Dupree uh, did her reverse caterpillar, which was done pretty well, and played to the crowd. Dupree called LeRae with an ankle lock. Um, and then Hardware ran Nile into the ring post, which distracted Dupree long enough for LeRae to escape the hole. LeRae hit the wicked step uh, stepmother and scored the pin one, two, three. So, unfortunately, that was all she wrote for Maxine Dupree. He lost almost in two minutes. Candice LeRae wins. And LeRae was selling at, uh, her ankle afterwards, and Hardware was shown uh, carrying her. So, let's talk about it. We got some couple of things to talk about here. So, Indy Hardwell, right? Um, you know, put uh, runs Ivy Nile into the ring post. And what's interesting is that this rivalry is getting split up a little bit because I believe, yeah, because Alpha Academy stand on Raw. I don't know about Ivy Nile's status because I haven't watched the rest of I know there was some more picks made after Raw tonight. I haven't seen them yet. Um, we're gonna have to talk about that on another day if I do go over it. Um, but Ivy now, uh, Got hit into the ring post, and now the interesting thing about Indy, Indy's not hesitating when she's doing stuff now, so she's full on heel now. Um, and she's giving you know, she we knew she was gonna come over there and do something to Ivy, like you know, and that basically turned the match upside down. So, the other thing is, too, Candace Array and Indy Hartwell are actually going to SmackDown, they are not on Raw. Very interesting, that definitely kind of. You know, that definitely switches some things up for me as, as far as my plans for them to be working with Rhea. That doesn't look like that's going to be happening now. Um, this is why the draft is so interesting. It's because sometimes the, 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 the thoughts that you have, it could get it could get burnt up just like that. And this one did. I don't know what they're going to do on SmackDown. They do have Chelsea Green and Piper Niven over there as well. So, they're trying, you know, um, some of the stuff that we've been seeing on Raw is going to be transferred over to SmackDown. So it's going to be very interesting uh, to see how that whole thing goes. I want to see how Candice LeRae and Indy Hartwell booked over there. Obviously, you know, Bianca and Jay Cargill will probably likely get the tag team titles this weekend at Backlash. So maybe they'll be able to be a challenger for those tag team titles. But I definitely would have rather they had stayed on Raw and been with Rhea, bro. Um, I think that would have been better for them. But let's see how they build them up on SmackDown. I think you could do a big faction over there on SmackDown because you got enough heels over there right now. Um, right now, also, you know, you could have Tiffany Stratton and Nia Jackson in Alliance as well. Maybe Tiffany Stratton starts her own faction. You, you got some things that you could do with some of the heels that's over there that's coming over there right now. Chelsea Green could start something. Chelsea Green could be with Tiffany Stratton. There's a lot of good things that you could do over there on SmackDown, bro. Uh, SmackDown is actually going back to being interested in their women's division. I find what I know is based on these picks, bro. Blair Davenport is over there now. It's going to be some good things going on over there in that women's division, bro. Uh, we're going to have to talk about that another time. But go ahead and give me your thoughts on this. How do y'all feel about Candice LeRae and Indy Hartwell going over to SmackDown, man? And how is Ivy now going to get her get back on them? Because she's on a different show now, man. So... It's gonna be interesting to see the way that went, cause I like the I like the way they've been building this feud up, man. I they really want them to end it so fast, bro. But going ahead and give this video a like, share, subscribe, y'all. Thank y'all for watching. After news, the like.